Welcome to this Windows and uh, Computer Channel. And of course, this is the uh, this is another screen you'll get when you get to install the October 2018 update. So this one, once again, all has to do with privacy settings and the fact that they kind of really are clearer in stating what you can do or not has to do with inking and typing. So what is in the implication here of the uh, inking and typing uh, privacy settings in Windows 10? It all has to do, of course, with how the computer, how Microsoft can actually uh, simply, with the data received here, improve upon some of the capabilities. A lot of the diagnostics feedback that's sent is there to really, really try to help uh, in making the functionalities that exist within Windows 10 better. So, of course, in this one, it has to do with inking, which is if you have a pen and you write on the screen, because Windows 10 has the capability of taking, for example, written text with a pen and changing it into uh, actual text within, for example, um, a word processor. So this capability is cool, but of course it's not perfect. By having you say yes to this question, it will actually see when it was imperfect, when it was not working right, or if it had some problems. And they actually use that data to improve upon the inking capability. Same for typing. Typing includes what you type on your screen, but also the recognition of you know the words, the um, if, if you want to have the autocorrect feature of Windows 10 running, for example, make sure that it's working right, that it does recognize the words correctly. Once again, this is data that is meant to improve the functionalities. Uh, I've seen on one of the posts somewhere, someone saying, yeah, well, it's a way for Microsoft to actually see what we're typing or what we're... No, they're, you know, remember that all the diagnostics data being sent to Microsoft is... Uh, unattached, meaning it, it, it can't be traced back to you. It's anonymous, it's sent anonymously, so it's random gibberish of words and phrases that, uh, for example, the typing has received to, uh, and, 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 you know, problems that it might have or not. Um, of course, it's all sorts of data and, you know, and at the most basic level. Once again, a lot of people don't like having too much data being sent over there. What does it change if you say yes or no? Yes, well, when you use these functionalities, data is sent continuously to improve upon it and make sure that the inking and the typing and the recognition works well and is improved over time. So, of course, the reason why it works well for and, more, and better all the time is because of this data. You click no, well, you still have the functionalities. They're still going to work. You just won't help Microsoft in making it better. It's just not going to send out the data that is needed to fix problems or to make it better uh, in the end. So that means you're just, by saying no here, you're just sending less data to Microsoft once again. You know, that all has to do and all the basic functionalities and the basic uh, answering no to pretty much every privacy question is in trying to make less data available at Microsoft some people, uh, that's what they want. So they'll answer no, of course. So it's up to you. Do you believe that the um, you know, data sent from hinking and typing is safe and it's really there to help you out? And if you use these functionalities, I think, you know, and I've set mine to yes, because, uh, yeah, I want everything to be improved. And I actually like the fact that the telemetry sent from my PC can be used to improve things. And, uh, well, if you don't like that, if you have or want less data to be sent out, you can click no. And, uh, well, you know, it won't, uh, it won't make you, uh, it, 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 you're still going to be able to use the, 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 the different, you know, functionalities. It's just that you won't help improve upon it at Microsoft. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.